Next, for this equation, we're going to find its solution. Means we're going to find out what is the x value here. Look at this third equation. It had two third term. So one in the left hand side, one in the right hand side. So they are distributed equally. Then to remove this third, we're going to square both sides. So of course, when we're doing square both sides, means left hand side one square, right hand side one square. So for this square, you can see inside here, we have two terms. We have to expand one by one using the formula here. A plus B square equals to A square plus 2AB, B square. So expand for this A square. So set X minus 1 square. After we square, we get X minus 1 only. And then 2 times third times 3. So you get become negative 6 times third. Then this B square, negative 3 square, you get positive 9. So go to the right hand side, square root and square, simplify, we get x plus 2. Now you can notice, we only leaving one third. So when we have one third, we maintain at left hand side. The other terms, we are going to simplify to right hand side. So x minus x, 0. And then this one, negative 1 plus 9, positive 8, minus 8. So it becomes negative 6, we simplify. This coefficient negative 6, negative 6, you can divide by negative 6, you get 1. To remove the square root, we square both sides again. So when we square both sides, you can notice that square root and square cancel off, you get x minus 1. Only 1 square is 1, so x is equals to 2. Don't forget to check your answer. So we are going to calculate its left hand side. Is it equals back to the right hand side equation? Substitute 2 into the bracket here, the original equation here, which is 2 minus 1, and then upside minus 3. So it gives you negative 2. Meanwhile, for the right hand side, just square root 2 plus 2, it gives you positive 2. So Obviously, left hand side not equivalent to this right hand side. Therefore, we don't have any solution that fulfill this equation.